Okay. It's 1984, Thomas Swing Stars. I'll uh, start with the bass drum. It is a I go, 14 by 22, okay? 8 by 12. I have a 9 by 13, but it's off to the side. 16 by 16 floor tom, all right? So those are 84 swing stars. Snare here is a 6.5 by 14 tom of brass, all right? Um, bass drum pedal is a tama. It's a pretty cheap one. Uh, with a wood beater that's old and beat up and squeaks. The beater actually squeaks, not the pedal. Uh, we've got an old Titan hi-hat stand, the Titan throne, uh, cymbals. Don't be impressed. Pius D302, hi-hat, 16-inch crash, 20-inch ride. All right, so this is pretty similar to what you would get if you were a kid in 1984. It's what you get for Christmas. All right, so uh, minus the snare because the snare is way out of the range of everything else here. All right. Uh, heads on the Tom Super 2 on the batter, and I actually have an Evans Genera resin resonant on the resin side of the Toms uh, because that's what was on there when I bought the drums, and they were brand new, so I reused those head and the batter heads for G2s that were beat to hell, uh, so I replaced those. Uh, it's a Tama Powercraft 2 bass drum head. That's an Aquarian regulator on the uh, on the resonant side. Uh, with the factory offset hole. Okay, the snare I've got an Aquarian high performance on the snare side, and uh, Aquarian high energy uh, on the batter side. Diecast hoops, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, refinish, they're darn near new condition. Uh, the only thing not original on the drums are the bass drum spurs. Those are actually uh, Star Classic Spurs two, off 2019. Um, they fit, they're right size, and they're better, right? Because they, they actually have spikes in the bottom or rubber feet. So here they are.
Exciting. Nothing too crappy about them though. Okay, I see the Zola coat interior. Toms. Bass drum. Really, really incredible. Incredible condition for some 35 year old drums. Over here is the 13. Just hide it out. 